Direct text messages, souls, stories, celebrity names and a phone full of evidence that uh, just happened to fall into the North Sea at the opportune moment. The High Court case between Rebecca Vardy and Colleen Rooney has got everybody talking. The so-called Wagatha Christie libel trial has set the press and social media alight. It has also given us an insight into the world of wags. Nicola McLean is uh, married to a footballer who is now a coach, Tom Williams, and joins us now. Very good morning, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. What's going on? Well, this is... I mean, everybody uh, has been gripped, despite the fact everybody says they're not. They really are. Mm. Um, and we're getting a sort of insight into what it is like to be wife or girlfriend, the, the original term, wag. What is it like? How much do you trust everybody else around you? I mean, I was never in sort of Colleen or Rebecca's um, situation, you know, um, but I really enjoyed being a wag. I love football, so I really enjoyed it. And I'm a trustworthy person and, and I had fun doing it, I'm not going to lie. I moved 17 times, 13 times, sorry, in seven years, <laughs> so that was tricky, but I enjoyed that as well. Is, this, is the selling of little titbits to the tabloids common practice amongst wags? I think it's common practice among the industry. I think everyone would be lying. What, you mean it, the celebrity industry? Yeah, yeah. I, I really do think that it's... Um, that so many people do it. The hypocrisy online of people that I know that sell stories... And then complain, and and then, complain and then, about and the and paparazzi then, and... And then are complaining about, you know, this case and, and calling it silly and, you know, I think, I know you've sold so stories. So why do you think... Why do you think Colleen got so upset about it? Because the stories that whoever leaked them, uh, and Vardy denies that she was yeah. the one, um, it, these stories were really trivial bits and bobs. There was nothing really kind of earth-shattering. Why, why do you think Colleen got so larked about it? I think that's what I found quite hard to understand, because the stories that she, you know, seemingly has a problem with really didn't seem like a big deal. But I suppose Colleen is a very family orientated woman. She's, she has kept... She used to be quite public and she's been private for a long time. And when she took to the stand on Friday, I think it was, she said that at this time, things weren't going well in her personal life. So it just felt really personal that someone close to her was doing it. She had a lot of people on her Instagram that, in my opinion, do sell stories. I'm not saying they have on this, but, you know, they, they have before, I know. Well, so... just putting this case aside, because obviously it's being heard at the moment, isn't there an issue with, you know, if you are high profile, you need to be able to trust people around you. I mean, you say that you know that this goes on a lot. Um, I, I can't imagine... I don't feel it, that there are... I mean, I have not sold stories. I mean, I can't... I, I, I find that kind of odd and weird because I think it would come back to bite you. Well, maybe it does, but I think that, you know, it does happen. You know, I can sit here and honestly tell you I know it happens. So, you know, but I understand why people would be... But doesn't uh, it make you, if you're... If, if we talk about you, perhaps, in, in an environment where that might be happening, doesn't it make you look at the people around you and wonder if something that you've said that appears in the papers might have been leaked by them? Yeah, I mean, what I would say is that I have an Instagram. I don't have Twitter because I find it such a vile platform. So I've come off Twitter, but I have an Instagram. But anything I put on Instagram, even if I put it to private friends, I would expect to. I would expect people to talk about it. We all gossip. It well, okay. Be, you know, if that's the reality then that you're describing, and Colleen Rooney would know that that's the reality. Um, what about Rebecca Vardy? Do you think she's made a big mistake in suing for libel on something like this? Um, I don't think it's a mistake um, because Rebecca wants to clear her name. So, you but know... Does it matter if everybody does it anyway? Well, it matters to Rebecca because she is categorically telling us she didn't. Mm. So, you know, it all depends. You know, I can't, I, I can't speak for why it really upset Colleen or why Rebecca really wants to clear well, her name. Well, I wonder if that's because there's a... I mean, you said at the beginning of this interview that, that you're quite low down uh, in the pecking order, as it were, yeah, of, of, of course, yeah. So there's clearly a hierarchy, yeah. and, and what many of the newspapers are saying is that this is actually what this is about, is who's the queen of the wags? Is it Rebecca or is it Colleen? Do you think that, that there's, there's basically p a power struggle going on? as well? Um, I would say that Colleen wanted to put an end to what was happening and Rebecca wants to clear her name. I don't... I wasn't there. I wish I was there when they were um, w um, watching England play, but I wasn't. So, you know, I wasn't there. I couldn't see, you know, any power struggle. I've never heard of a power struggle between the two of them. I'd really hope there wasn't, but 
I could really understand if there was one. And how important are the outfits that they wear? Because that draws such commentary, what they're wearing each day to court. Um, I mean, it... It shouldn't matter because there's so there's such bigger problems going on with with this case, you know, and with people that uh, that are involved in this case that shouldn't be involved in this case. But I'm enjoying watching Rebecca's outfits. I think she's nailing it. <laughs> and why do you think is that, is that, that a way of expressing which side you're on? No, no. Uh, we all know that Rebecca and I are friends. We all know I am. But you know, I really I have no problem with Colleen. Wayne's one of our best footballers ever. I'm a huge football fan. But I do. I am liking Rebecca's outfits more. That aside, then, um, do you think when, whenever this is over, and it's going to be a few more days to go, yeah. and whoever wins, do you think actually, as again, a lot of commentators are saying, they've both lost? because they're both their reputations have been quite shredded by this. I think they've both lost, and I think that they've both... I mean, I've seen, Rebe I've seen how... Uh, uh, and as I say, I'm not here to just be solely Team Becky, but I've seen what happened when Colleen put that statement out on Twitter. Rebecca was pregnant. I've seen the, the awful messages to her, and I've seen how much she struggled mentally. She thought she was going to lose the baby at one point. I mean, I think that that's... A, that's you know, that part of her pregnancy and the newborn stage, she lost. So she's lost already, hasn't she? And Colleen's lost because she doesn't want her marriage dragged up again. Who does? No, none of us do. So they're already losing, but I really understand why they want the truth. I... Uh... I think that, finally, it, it seems such a shame that this had to get yeah. this far. Yeah. Um, you know, the, you'd hope that there was a sort of sisterhood that the women involved could have said, right, let's just, sort, let's just sit down and have a conversation about this, let's sort this out, because it's not going to get better for anybody. They both... You know, we, both, we know how stressful that must be. You don't need to be... Oh, goodness, yeah. You, you know, you don't need to think yeah. too hard, do you, about it to imagine what that is like for both women, whatever the outcome. They both feel like they did and they both feel like they couldn't get there. So, as I say, you know, I feel like it, it's really sexist the way we keep on saying it's a silly case and, you know, both women pay their taxes, both husbands pay mm. their taxes. They deserve to have it seen out by a judge and whoever whoever wins wins has anyone won no i don't think they have and, and we all kind of draw our breath at the at the enormous costs involved probably about three million each mm. we think now about three million a piece in legal fees but you say that's 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 chicken feed to them well you know if they can afford it i couldn't afford that Hence but you say they you know them you say they can you say that that's a drop well, in the we ocean. all we all know that they can afford it you yeah. know we know how much footballers get paid don't we so you know they and i've never had a problem with how much footballers get paid because i i see the dedication that goes into it, and I, I'm a big football fan. So, you know, if Wayne and Jamie are happy to pay these sort of costs to clear their wives' names, good for them. All right. Well, all right. The case continues. Nicola McLean, thanks very much Thank indeed. You. Thanks for being here.